Hello my friends and welcome to Space Engineers. My name is Daily Fix and this is our road to space. Now last time I made this roof. Uh, it actually worked out quite nicely. Uh, if you consider that, uh, that, that other row, this one, to be uh, nicely, then it is brilliant. It is brilliant. I think this episode I would really like to dedicate to tidying up the base. Um, making it feel, or try to make it feel, less like a brick. And I'm thinking I might, might have a solution. It is um, a minimal solution. It is pretty much just adding more blocks in, in just giving it a more of a shape. And, and to do so, uh, we're going to be needing a crap ton of steel plates. Um, we're going to be leaving this window so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. And I was thinking about just adding, um, not like this, but just like support downwards perhaps um, maybe just on the corners but there are several several um, areas where we could actually try this uh, unfortunately for me the garage area is, is going to be a bit difficult to make that happen but just on, on areas like this we would be able to place down support like structures and I'll do it like this because that one is the other color. Like so. And it, it just it, it breaks the shape of the building just, just a bit. Maybe not as much. And let, let's not care about the color for now. Uh, I'll worry about those small things later so we do need a full block going into here and i'm thinking about doing mm, not sure if i want to do the same over there yeah i'm not sure i really would like to get suggestions from you lot uh, you guys are i've been playing this game for a lot longer than i'm i'm currently up to 65 hours so Hey, I'm doing quite good for the amount of time I've put in uh, so far. And I will make a support over there. And I'll probably have to do that over these corners as well. We'll need to think a way for the roof to continue into that direction. And this of course, need, we need, we're need. we going to be thinking about how we're going to be doing our roof and it's going to be quite quite trivial um let's, let's go down a bit so this is completely the wrong block oh, that's what you get i'm just saying you know we should leave this window so I, I see what the hell i'm doing you get a full block and just place it down here now this is the upper upper column so by Maybe just adding... Uh, let's see. We have on the 6 these blocks, right? <sighs> so we could extend the pillars. Mm, sure. Let's check out how that looks. Mm. Like that. It would be something like this. Again, with the wrong pillar there. Damn it, I can't even place the other one. I'll have to remove both. And let's get six again. Which is... I should press T more often. Oh dear... Oh, seriously, that, that has to be a better guide. There has to be a get better guide. So what I was thinking about just getting in with like half blocks. And just try to connect these. Like this. As a supportive 
uh, measure. And we'll do it the other way as well. And I know this you, you shouldn't be doing this without adding a roof to a structure that is below it. Because otherwise you would probably get a lot of problems. Uh, do we want to have this? I think this one is better. Like that. And this way it will connect our base to our outside area. That leaves a bit of a issue. What will we do with this area? And I'm actually thinking about just make it or into a big ass door, which we don't need. We could actually do with a small one. So that's the wrong block again. Just adding it like this. And going upwards, of course. And perhaps it will just lose the overall shape of the building. Mm, this is going to be wonky. And I... Do I want to extend? Well, sure. Why not? But this is going to be an empty space. And I kind of like this wall so we'll have a a forgotten area quite close to us over here and i would would like to get started on the hangar doors because that is of course where our ship has to enter and it has to be like four perhaps even seven or no six because they will push out for four or for two so it has to be quite quite a large thing and I, I would like to have that outside just just popping out so let's take a quick look over here let's weld up a few of these bits and pieces let's see if we can actually do something constructive for for a change you know because i am one that is quite preoccupied so to say uh, when i see something i would like to do something about it and i go left right and center in a split of a second that usually is not how people would like it to be so let's at least get this done so i have some area to work with and i know where my support is going to be now how we're going to be filling up the remainder of this base i'm thinking perhaps we'll uh we just use a massive entry hole. Get you done as well. And there we go. So, let's take a quick look. It could work. I'm not too sure about these. Not too sure. I'm not sure about the entire building though. <laughs> Anyways, airtight. Airtight hangar doors. Those are the ones I would like. So, how do they work? I do not know. But it clearly has a line. Hmm. So, and I would like to place them like this. I think. So, they open up in that direction. So, it definitely is six blocks. So, if I go back, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And with this one, it is seven. So, it's barely fitting. Barely. We might have to flip them. We might have to change this uh, the other way around. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That could work. It could. Not sure it will. Let's see, one, two... Uh, three and then one two uh, oh my god no okay one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> damn it damn it damn it damn it ah, that's going to look so bad let us try to do it on this side nevertheless so we'll flip you around and we need unable to place. 
you were over here, I got an idea on how I would like to do this. So that would be, let's see, one, two. It's placed in a block just for me, not for you guys, for me, because uh, I'm, a, I'm an idiot like that. That means I have to go one, two, three. There has to be a lower block here. Actually, that would not be bad. So let's get a regular size block out. Uh oh. I really have to pay more attention to that. How many do we want? I would like to have it pretty large though. Like a very impressive opening door for our mining ship. Uh, the triumph of our series, at least for me. Maybe not for you, but it is for me. It's a, it's a hell of an achievement for me. So if we do the air height, airtight hangar doors. This. So that would be three, four, five, six seven and I'll do the entire hallway like that it should be on the same side now so let's flip you two three four five six seven. that's what I like about this game you can actually flip yourself over while doing so this is probably just going to be the entrance and there's one thing that we need to check before doing anything else. And that is getting into our ship. Getting in there. Recharge off. Lock on. Let's lower us a bit up. Uh, let's go more to the side. Okay, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Oh wow, that's a really tight squeeze, but it is good enough, it is good enough, I think this would be very nice for our ship, very, and we'll have more than enough room, and I'm thinking about using like landing gears, pistons, to make the connector above. So, yeah, there's definitely ideas. There is ideas. I'm not saying they will be aesthetically pleasing, but then again, hey, you can't blame me uh, with my limited amount of time in this uh, amazing game. So let's uh, lower down ourselves a bit more. I still have to go a long way to go. There we go. Oh, look, recharge, get out. So we know it fits, right? So, we definitely should be working on that. Oh, wow, I was planning on flying out of there. If we can... Is there a larger door? I don't want these anti doors over here, but are there larger doors? Sliding door, maybe? I think it's just a one by one. Really hoping they would be larger. We can make this looking a bit better though. Will these automatically slide? They can seal off interiors and make it airtight while still allowing access for a player. Well, great. And this is already the large scale version, I think. Apparently there's two different things. Let's see, door. Let's see, this one is... This is the sliding door. Yeah, there's, there's not much to change to it. I wish there was a larger way that I could increase this. But then again, there there's nothing else we can do. Uh, I'm thinking about using this one. Maybe over this one. We'll see. We'll see how uh, we'll, uh, we'll fix that. So let's get rid of this and get our torch out. And I would not recommend 
starting with your roof. I need hydrogen. Uh, because I will die. So let's go over here. Actually, this one, player, hydrogen. I usually just get out some ice and just placing these in. There we go. We have more than enough steel plates. Let us start by queuing up a few of these. Two, three, four. Just as many until it says you cannot add more. There you go. Capacity has been reached. Now, before doing anything, I think we should start work on support. Wow, it still hangs. <laughs> that would have been a mistake. Um, so let's get EU out of the way. You back in there. And start welding you together. Still, I have not changed the save. I completely forget that all the time. And we should make a very nice landing pad on the other side of this building. For when we are going to be making our ship for space. And it should be fitting in over there otherwise i will have to increase the pad itself let's get at least going on the hangar doors um how much items would we get out of it so it cannot redraw a few things so let's make sure that is being queued up could not be queued what is up with that maybe it's the two assembler too go away could not be pulled for production. This used to work. Okay, so shift, middle mouse button. Nothing. Okay, fine, we'll do it like this. So, we need... Do 10. We don't need steel. Just, uh... Are these the right doors? Yes, I airtight hanging doors. So let that go and queue up. So what do you think about this idea, guys? What um, Do you think it will work? Because with me, you never know. That is one thing. I'm also worried that at the moment these things become active, they will start to close and I will die a horrible, horrible death. That's usually how, uh, how much I trust myself with that. So there's a lot of motors that still has to be constructed. Let's make sure that we try to work out one at a time. It's a lot of materials that this needs. Damn. And our ship needs to get this kind of things as well for space, of course. I would like to make it like these um, personnel carriers. Where you will have an airtight door and a ramp. And if I can make that work together, it will be extremely annoying to get out of a ship. Because it will take a long as time to get that going. So maybe not the brightest idea, but um, something I would like to try out nevertheless. So, okay, once again, yeah. And let's go make sure that happens. Ah, uh, man, Modus. Modus is my... Oculus Heal. It is always modus. How many modus could a guy want? So how many are being produced? All of them have been done. Okay, we're going to be queuing up a, a crap ton of modus. There you go, do a thousand of them. Just just do it. Because I'm always short on modus. Oh yeah. Look at that. And they look absolutely gorgeous. And we should already have power on them since we um, made the outer layer first. So let us close up a few of these doors. So let's go over here. And go in with the info, control panels, door... 
And we'll queue these up as base hanger door. Hanger doors. There we go. Save them. And anyone can use shit, but let's close. Let's close them. Oh, wow. That looks so nice. That looks so nice. Yeah, I can envision how I want this. Um, it will make the shape of the base a bit... Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, so they're not really good on water to walk on. So I'm thinking about going to 6 and getting one of these... Yeah, like, like these. And just going around... We need steel. Okay, we need steel. Go. Um, production is still going well. Let's go steel. There you go. Um, and doing... Like this. So it, it, it has a bit of a shape. I'm not sure if I want the one over here though. But we can place down blocks like this. And then... Do like supportive blocks. Maybe I need one in between. Let's uh, weld this up. Let's see how that looks. Oh wow, it looks like a bloody roof. Not sure if I like that. I do like the color though. Uh, white and gray, they, they definitely work. Hmm. We could probably... Do can we do this above here? Not with my controlling skills. Let's do half a block. Let's uh, sit down over here. So we can place it down like this. Since we won't be going over it, I think that might be quite nice. And doing half blocks over here. And do. Things like that. As for this one, it probably is going to be just a half block. Let's get rid of you. And you, because we don't need you. Go away. These are ugly. Mm. So, say half block. Now, I am aware that people would like to go and see me into space. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I would, I would, I really. But I, I don't want to rush this. I don't like rushing anything. And something as important as going to space. And that doesn't feel right, this. Mm, I think it will have to go from here. I don't want to rush going into space. It's a journey for me just as much as I'm claiming it's going to be a journey for you. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Go away. So, let's get the blocks out. And do the half slopes again. Which is completely the opposite area that I wanted it to be. So, you... I keep doing that. I keep doing that. Ah, uh, yeah, it's frustrating me as well. I know. I know. Learn your controls daily. Learn them. Yes, I'm trying, but I'm too much of a uh, an idiot to <laughs> make sure they will work. Ah, oh, controls, man. And we'll finish up over here like this, and we'll continue all the way up there. So we can actually. Flip you, you over here, and just weld these together. Not sure about this. Not sure about that. Let me know um, if that is something that we should consider. But this already feels 
a bit better like this yeah definitely this corner is there a block I don't know <sighs> it's not in there either Guys, how are we going to fix this? I don't think it's in here. Let's get rid of those. So, if if I were to use this one... Oh, here we go again. No, it doesn't fit. Yeah, there's no other way. There is simply no other way than keeping that corner over there. And I think this would work nicely and we'll do that around the hangar bay section let's get rid of you and uh yeah this is going to be a project guys oh my oh my oh my oh my this is going to be huge and i will definitely have to do a lot of mining trips to make sure that we get iron and we probably will need silicon as well what is in here um i think it's only iron oh my that's a lot of iron that's a lot of mining trips. Damn. Well, guys, that's uh, that's it for this time. You have the plans for our area where the miner can go in. It is larger. Okay, it is large. But I think if I make it too small, it's not going to be nice. And I'll make a doorway in there. And we probably might extend this. And the reason I would like to do that... Is so it doesn't feel like a brick with a bit of a chunk out. Because that is where we're going right now. My friends, this has been a longer episode than normal. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.